Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run of this mod. We are in month number 4. It's going really well and we have a couple of missions lined up. However, not all of them are easy. This year is probably going to be one of the harder ones. Team is good, but unfortunately we needed to do some confessions when it comes to the actual um, equipment that we've brought with us. So quite of the uh, quite a few of these items are low quality specifically very um, a very high amount of uh, SMGs on top of which we will deal with the loss on every single mission now uh, which is really a pain in the ass so let's see how difficult it's going to be and here we go it's time to get some rookies out of it Matter of fact, two rookies and four resistance personnel, which is a huge reward. Fortunately, we will need to walk them all the way across the map, so that's going to take some time. Luckily, we got high ground here, and we got an entrance here, so we should be able to fairly easily get access to the actual targets. Whenever you are playing a difficult mission, make sure that you're using all of the advantages that you do have. Which in our case is first and foremost the concealment. That's one pack and we got a drone right over here. That's first and foremost the concealment. And secondly, we got a we got we got a first strike team. So we gotta make it count once we are hitting the enemies. Can't go into long drawn out firefights. It's not gonna to uh, that's not going to work out with this team here. We could shut it down, but yeah, I don't know yet. Let's see what the other pack is doing. Okay, they walk right into us. That's an easy pack, three of them. And that's two drones, so we're at five. Five out of 12 enemies. Okay, I'm still looking for the best engagement angle here. Eighty percent is okay, but certainly not phenomenal. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to overwatch here. Given him, given Mitch an aid protocol. And we're overwatching with turbo as well. So that's two overwatch shots. And I want to open with a sniper shot, effectively killing the purifier. Thousands to go. 
Well, so much for our concealment. This here deals with a drone. So we are like, what, four enemies uh, down? Take the loot and advent data pad plus stock. Good. So far, so good. The explosion definitely has caused some trouble. I wouldn't be surprised if the drone would immediately start to investigate. Also, a lost swarm is going to come very, very soon. We lost our scout which, quite honestly, I wanted to use in order to seek out where we would need to go. Seems doable. Moving up. It looks like we've triggered the drone. Oh wow, that looks like we've triggered a really, really bad pack. Muton plus two. Big deal. Okay, that's one down. Biggest problem is going to be the Muton. Yeah, we, we will most likely need to trigger the drone or fall back, either, either way. Alright, falling back. I still want to use run gun later. All right, overwatch, overwatch, and overwatch for the lack of something better to do. Gotta be very careful, this guy hits for a lot, 6, 7, so that could have been almost a one, one hit KO. Very good. Drone down, drone down, 3, pack of 3 down another pack of three on its way down which would mean three six um, eight out of twelve the losses are certainly my biggest concern I want to be rather careful with uh, loud explosions because fighting them essentially distracts us from actually doing the mission
Yeah, the civilians seem to be very scared of the loss. Can't really hit the mutant. Not very well, at least. This here should be able to, uh, on here we should be able to see the mutant. Eighty-two percent. Okay. Well, I do have an idea how we could deal with that. But not with eighty percent shots. That's that is not going to work out. The problem is we gotta use another grenade. That's really a, a big problem. One down. Another one down. See, and that's where the low magazines are now going to be a, become a huge liability for us. And although this year will kill some of the... Um, some of the loss it will start a new chain so that even more of them will spawn unfortunately by the way grenade explosions do not um, do not let you regain do not let you regain your um, your what's it called uh, your action because um, only pure shots neither melee attacks nor grenades are going to let you regain it this here might be a kill fortunately it misses I don't want to take chances with 80% shots or whatever. We're directly going to the kingpin, this guy here. I said a critical hit. That was necessary. Good. Now we can deal with the loss. It's one down, and another one down. And reloading. Yeah, 
we're we're pretty much forced to to take these shots here. Headshot, headshot, overwatch. Good, so we killed three plus three plus two, eight. Well, this guy here is the last one. Nice, very nice. Keep on going. Kill this guy. Soon reinforcements are going to arrive. We gotta account for that. Okay, we dealt with the loss. Let's take a look what else we're dealing with. Potential hack. Very bad odds for the central command. This one here would be nice, but yeah, 12%. And we don't want another pair of reinforcements. Nope. Thank you. He's probably the only one with four shots in the magazine who could reasonably well execute people. If we trigger something, we can still move back. We do have run and gun. Fifty-fifty, come on. Okay, got to deal with the sector now. We know that this is not going to trigger anything because we already scouted everything out. Oh, he was standing right next to the car. I thought he was quite literally standing in the corner here. Yeah, let's position ourselves here because we need to reload. What's over there? Rock and roll. He 
you can get a good uh, position on high ground next turn. Everyone reloads. Uh, three, six. Uh, three, six, eight enemies down. It's another pack of three, it appears. Okay. Okay, they start on high alert. That's why they could get a could get an uh, action right away. You can remove the panic. That's not the problem. Most likely not going to kill this guy, but we have a 50-50 of at least hitting it. And 7 points of damage is a good start. Very solid. We have to reload. You know, one way of uh, dealing with them coming closer to us is essentially getting a little bit back and getting and triggering or pulling them into an overwatch trap. Turbo here is giving himself a protocol, so it's considered to be full cover. We're moving back and we're reloading. We are overwatching as well. I think that was a double move. No, single move, overwatch, okay. All right, we got to deal with exactly that guy because being mind controlled is no fun at all. Worst timing possible. Absolute effing worst timing possible.
and the frame drop uh, frame rates drop again so we still got our flashbang Can't reach that guy, which is interesting. He's barely out of reach, which means we got to use a flashbang for it. All right, rapid deployment, making our flashbang a free action. And we're going to break the Mind control. We could position ourselves here, knowing that this here is the last pack. We had like what? Three, six, eight, and three, that's eleven. It's exactly. Positioning ourselves here. Oh boy, the frame rates dropped so, so, so bad. Okay, he's somewhat moonwalking his way like over the map. It's unbelievable. The, the losts, I don't know why they take so much performance. Everything else runs fine, but the losts. And add some more civilians in it, and it just makes it horrible. So there is a good chance that we're actually going to severely injure him, if not kill him. There's also always the possibility to deal absolute apeshit minimum damage. The frame rate drop is real and we're moving again across the entire battlefield. If you wonder yourself why I am moon, uh, moonwalking over the entire battlefield to make sure that these guys are dying, the losses are bad, specifically for the frame rate, but they are nowhere near as bad as getting mind controlled. Nice one, a nice one, Elite Laser, uh, Elite Laser Sight is pretty good. Alright, we're finally taking our spot up here. And we're reloading because we don't have a sidearm. Which, considering all of the losses are here, it's really been a bad decision. That's not even an ensured kill. We could drop down to here, 
flank him and kill him. The zombie down here is the is a bigger problem though. So what we need to do is we got to deal with a zombie by blocking the ladder. So it can't climb up. The zombie actually deals a lot of damage and we currently can't reach the last um, sector. I wish we could kill more of them, but it's really important to block the zombie. Good, reloading, and now it's only one sector left, left open. No, two. We did not kill this guy over here. That's bullshit. We gotta stabilize her, but that was a huge, major, major setback. Because she was dealing a lot of the de uh, overall damage and having her being out of service, that's, that's now going to shake up the entire mission. Fortunately, we dealt many, minimum damage and we couldn't kill the sector without getting others killed by, by the zombie. Gotta move closer to her and then stabilize her and get the hell out of here. At least the sector had also died. Reinforcements are coming in. So we gotta hurry. So getting all of these guys here. So basically, although he hits every single shot, he only can kill four per round because that's as much as his um, weapon allows him to kill. So that will be the stabilization, hopefully. Got it. Moving. Good.
gosh, the frame rate drop is real. Why are they draw, uh, drawing so much frame rates? I don't know if it's the texture. Okay, got to deal with the sector. By the way, thank you for knocking out my companion. Shotgun to the face. And yeah, 11 crit. That's exactly what we could have used beforehand, right? Good, we're down to one overwatch. Let's hope that whoever is dropping in, that the reinforcements aren't too strong, like two would be nice. That's what, an improved advent captain and uh, advent stun lancer? Come on, kill the stun lancer. Okay, no more explosions. We can use more loss. Fifty fifty, let's get this guy down. Come on. Very nice. Good job. Death from above, reload. Stabilizing her. And reviving her. Which should get rid of the unconsciousness. Thanks to revival protocol. Okay, we just got to deal with uh, this advent, with that advent um, captain. Moving in. Let's start with the lost, so I don't want to deal with him afterwards. Crit? Nope. Do we have a really solid shot on our stun? No, 50% is the very opposite of a really solid shot. Moving into full cover. And moving out of line of sight. You know, in case he has a grenade, I don't want to deal with that shit. Let's just go one step further. OK, 
Okay. Loss will soon go in, uh, will soon join us. So this is far from over. We only got nine more rounds left. Soon new reinforcements will come. Where's the exit? Wow, far enough away, okay. Moving in. Wow, he has a lot of defense. Look at that, only 90%. I do I don't want to take any chance. I know how we're going to deal with it. Which is gotta move over here anyways. And we're going to use our action to mark this guy. Pretty low damage that he took. Next turn could be another turn with a loss, so and then reinforcements would come in. We gotta be careful. Mitch Mitchell moves up, reloads, and we're making our way towards the exit zone. Wow, this is a intense miss a mission. I was expecting difficult, but we're really under a lot of time pressure with the reinforcements. There's another swarm of loss, almost like predicted. And these guys are fast. It would be nice if we could get one more round without reinforcements, please. So we can actually start making our way. Well, of course that's not the case. Reinforcements will be coming in next turn. And that means we need to move. Can't see any of the targets. Which means in here we're definitely going to get the hack. And then we're going the heck out of here. 85% for a little bit of intel. Could have gotten more, but I think that was the odds were just in favor for the small cache of Inter.
All right, everyone, move back, move back. Gotta get on top of this roof. Now we're going to keep his shot, his overwatch shot. And let's see how many of the rookies we can actually save. So positioning ourselves away from everything. I really want to get uh, get going and move everyone. Taking an overwatch shot here and another one up here. So that's two. Let's hope we can make the best out of it. Our prisoners will simply be running. Trying to get as far away as possible. And we're going to use the prisoner with the most health, health points, like five, as a meat shield to block the door. He has five, and she has like what? Also five. Okay. She's going to stand right here, inside of the door. That reduces the number of attacks which she could get, and if she survives, no one can move through the door. And if she doesn't survive, then yeah, it is what it is. We, we can't fight off the horde over and over and over, specifically not with reinforcements coming in on top of it. Stun Lancer, Grenadier and Normal Trooper. Come on, hit the Sun Lancer. Hit him, hit him, hit him really good. Well, the trooper is down. I mean, if we could have hit the stun lancer, it would have probably been better. Because they do have a lot of movement speed. But considering all of the loss, he might end up just taking one of them. Oh, they are coming in from and dropping 
dropping down from above. Clever. We might end up getting hit. Yeah, that's one down. Time to move out. Usually I'm not bailing out like this, but with overwhelming enemy forces, it has become an every man and woman by themselves sort of situation. Let's see how many of the civilians we can actually rescue. Highest importance is to not lose any of our soldiers because they are very, very valuable. And since we have already gotten a lot of uh, intel, we should be fine. Gosh, I hate the frame drops. Really, the losses are the worst. All right, sniper. Moves out as well, I think next turn we can pull her completely back. Mitch Mitchell has a super long movement range, I like it. This here becomes a little bit like a natural selection, whoever can run the fastest is surviving the onslaught. I think for the three of them it looks really good because they already got a bit of a head start. The others might have more of a problem. Putting everyone in cover. All right, I think he's going to be majorly fucked. Let's put him here and hope for the best. He also only has three more hit points left. So he had to kind of tackle his way out of uh, out of the loss. Good stun lancer. Decides to fight a lost. Perfect.
honestly hope the two of you get completely overrun and shit on. That would be good. Good. Natural selection uh, striked again. No, struck again. Sorry. My natural selection struck again. I was like, nah, that doesn't sound right. Natural selection struck again. We're down to four. But at least the advent reinforcements are no longer a problem. The lost might stick with them or will come with us. I don't know. Honestly, four out of six, concerning uh, considering all of uh, these circumstances, would be an awesome result. Are these guys able to catch up? That would suck. No, they're just standing there. Good. Reinforcements. Getting out of here. He loses uses his last shot of ammunition. Before running for the hills. So good news, it's almost 100% sure that all of the operatives will make their way out of here. And we still got four surviving civilians. I'm out of here. Yep, Advent are definitely deploying 
more heavy units now. Luckily we took the decision to get out of here because I wouldn't want to fight against those plus the loss on top. We simply don't have the firepower to do that. Interesting, so they are still fighting. Now, as for the lost activity, they're slowly trying to catch up. But I think we got this one here at least all of the operatives and maybe even a few of uh, the civilians will escape. Wow, the game, the gameplay has slowed down to an absolute minimum. The losses are terrible for frame rate. Good, now, now all of our operatives have been moved out, meaning effectively only the civilians or future rookies are in here. And we're going to get at least one of them because there are only three losses currently and for rookies. So unless something like incredibly wild happens, we're going to get at least one of them. If we're lucky, we're going to get all four of them. I'll forward this part. Yeah, no one wants to see Edmund fighting against the loss. So that's the interesting part, how many of our rookies are going to die. And then hopefully the mission is over, guys. Took a full hour. So we got some more damage. But apparently we're going to survive that. four out of six damn well done considering the circumstances it was a little bit leggy I apologize for that 
I will seek um, an option to maybe make the gameplay with the loss a little bit more efficient. 60 enemies on this mission and we killed 45. Like That was a pretty, pretty intense uh, opposition there. There we go. Finally made it. Yeah, wounded 19 days. I'm not surprised about it. So our sword will get uh, will get lightning reflexes. Thank you. Our sniper could get lone wolf. That wouldn't be bad. Plus 10 aim is certainly helpful. And we are looking at medical protocol. Trojan is also nice. This one here is uh, basically allows you to shut down drones and they will die afterwards. So that's not bad. And for her, we're going to get combativeness. I thought she had it. Apparently she didn't. That's the reason why uh, why she maybe got uh, hit on uh, so so hard. Um, one alarm core and one data pet. That's fifty resources. Elite stock, elite laser sight. That's pretty good. This here is actually really good for snipers. 25 aim and 25 critical chance to hit on the next shot. Uh, yep, that is really good. And 10 inter. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. And we got two rookies. Which means the other two were normal resistance forces. Both of them 66 um, aim. Pretty average stats here. The average aim as well. Gotta think about how we're going to use the, uh, use the rookies. Uh, generally speaking, probably one more specialist. We wanted at least one more um, Ranger. Yeah, so might be a might be a specialist and the Ranger. Or we could go uh, go with two specialists. I don't mind that. You know what? Let's go for two specialists. We can use them in many missions. Yeah, and that mission is going to be our next uh, our next target. Smash and grab to get some more um, supplies. Got a nice team going and We'll target for quite a few of them, but that's going to happen in the next um, episode. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed playing it. I hope you liked it despite the fact of lots and lots of frame rate drops. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Keep uh, considering giving it a thumbs up and a like and see you in the next mission. Bye bye.